I'm Davey. I'm awesome. Welcome to Davey's Awesome Stories, where I tell funny stories from my past or go on a rant in an effort to make you laugh. So this week I'm going off on more of a rant and I talk about something that has annoyed the crap out of me for years. I'm 41 years old. I got my first job at 14. And every job I've had, which has been a lot, I've had to at least once hear one coworker or manager say, you know, we're like family here. Let me once and for all say, no, we're not. We are not like family. We're like coworkers. That's it. Duh. When I was young, into the workforce, heck, even up until my mid-20s, I used to just deal with it. I used to just be like, yeah, okay, sure, family, whatever. But, I don't know, somewhere about late 20s, early 30s, I got to the point where I would start arguing. I would start telling them, no, we're not. Stop saying that. You sound stupid. Because there is no way or shape we are like family. We're like people who share a fridge in the break room. That's what we're like. Well, if you think about it, in some ways, we are like family. Well, if you actually think, and I don't mean just about that, but at all, in every other way, no, we're not. Why are we like family? Because we see each other a lot? That won't happen forever. Eventually, you or I or both of us will stop working here, and that will be the end of our relationship. Forever. And then I love when they have to throw out the... Well, there are some co-workers from my past that I still see. Some. That is what we call the exception, not the rule. Like, I'm going to break it down for you. I'm not going to go into literally every job I've had, but some of the major ones. My first job, I was 14. I worked at McDonald's. I worked there for a little longer than the summer, about four or five months. And then stuff happened with my manager cousin who was there... And even though they swore that this would not reflect on me at all, I was getting the heat from it, and uh, I just couldn't do it no more. But, other than my cousin, who I was actually family with, who I was actually related to, I have not seen a single person I worked with at McDonald's since I stopped working there. The only ones I ever saw after working there, I saw them because I went there to get a Big Mac or something. And heck, probably three months after I stopped working there, none of them were there anymore. When I was 16, for a little over six months, I worked for a telemarketing company. 16, I get to make slightly above minimum wage, and I don't have to do anything disgusting. And afterwards, I realized there's a reason people would rather do something disgusting than be a telemarketer. Because holy crap, you guys think you get disrespected in retail. <laughs> but I made some friends there. At 16, I made some friends that... Towards the last few months of me working there, every payday, I'd tell my parents, like, hey, I'm going to stay the night at one of their places because we were going to sit there and party. Not like what you see on TV, but basically, not going to lie to you, at 16, we were going to go drinking. We were going to go to one of their houses. One of the older people were going to buy alcohol, and we were going to drink. I was 16. We did some stuff back then. Leave me alone. These people were my friends. These were my buddies. I hung out with them outside of work. But guess what? As soon as I stopped working there, haven't seen a single one of them since. Not even to go in there because I had no reason to do that. The last time I saw any of the people I worked with was when I went in to get my final paycheck. But the only actual co-worker I ever saw regularly after that was my best friend, Arthur Ken Lindsay, author of the Gavin English series and The River Runes, available at KenLindsayBooks.com. Because him working there is why I started working there. He was like, hey, I got this cool job. You should come work here. But we were already friends. I'd known him since I was 10. So, of course, I was going to see him after that. Heck, he's the reason I had to quit. Nothing malicious, but he didn't want to work there anymore, and he was my ride. But now, fast forward a couple years. I've talked about this one many times. When I was 19, I worked at a grocery store. I worked there for nine months. Nine months after working there. Other than the couple of times I went in there to buy stuff while visiting my mother, because after working there is when I moved out, moved to another town, and worked somewhere else, a pizza place. There's only two people that I've seen outside that place since. And both of them were just happenstance coincidence. One of them, I saw him years later when I moved to California and worked at a gas station. Saw him and we were both staring at each other, like, don't I know you? And realized, yeah, we worked at that grocery store together. Apparently he had grown up in the town that I ended up moving to. 
And when things were going bad, he decided to go back and live there. But then again, him and I weren't really close. Fast forward several more years. I remember when this was, it was 2012. I had just moved back to Nevada and I'm working and this guy comes through my line and we're both staring at each other and we can both tell what we're thinking, which is, don't I know you? So when he gets to the front of the line, it's what he asks. Do I know you? I think I do. I think I know you from somewhere. But I'm really having trouble placing it. Like, maybe we used to work together? Wait, Daniel? For some reason, every time somebody can't remember my name, they remember the name Daniel. I don't take offense to this anymore. I have a cousin named Daniel, but I don't know why so many people remember my name as Daniel. Do I look like a Daniel? Davy. Davy. Davy? Davy. Davy. Yes, I remember a Davy. We used to work together at that grocery store. Yeah, yeah! Now I'm remembering you. Vinny? Vincent. Sorry. How you been? It's been a long time. And it had, because at that point I was 28 and hadn't worked there since I was 19. We hadn't seen each other in almost 10 years. And now we had to really struggle just to remember each other's names. You want to know the saddest part about that? He was my work buddy. Like, usually if one of us was goofing off while we were supposed to be working at that store, we were talking and joking and laughing amongst each other. Bosses kept getting mad at us like, hey, you two, stop going off and chit-chatting and hanging out. You're supposed to be working. That was my work buddy. Nine years later, he only looked familiar to me. And the thing about these guys, bumping into them just happenstance out in the world, the first one, probably saw him a couple of times after that. He lived nearby, he came to the gas station a few times, but I never really had big conversations with him. It wasn't like, hey, how are you? Let's hug and catch up on old times. It was just like, hey, how you doing? Small world. That was it. The other one, same deal. Just, hey, how you doing? How's life been? Haven't seen him since. That was in 2012, 12 years later. I haven't seen the guy. Not even on a pop in. And even the other guy, it was never significant. It just happened to see you out and about in the real world. And I told you this this place, I stopped working there to go work at a pizza place. Worked there for a little over a year. Probably the funnest job I ever had. Got along with most of my coworkers, had fun. Believe it or not, I really didn't want to leave the job as a pizza delivery driver because I was having so much fun. But my best friend, Ken Lindsay, who worked with me at that pizza place for a while, he eventually quit to go get a job at a warehouse told me how much money he was making, told me he was doing good, and I went to go work there. Because I had to accept something that working at this pizza place, renting a room out of a house of a guy who does this every time he talks, and bugs me for money and pesters me for every little thing, has no privacy boundaries, has no restrictions as long as he wants something, won't stop annoying my friends and family, I was never going to be able to move out of his place and get my own place working at this pizza place as a delivery driver. But a year working there, loving my job. Other than my best friend and his wife at the time who worked there, I have not seen those people since. Except for when I used to go in there. Because I did live in this town. It was a small town. And it was good pizza. But other than going in there to get pizza once in a while, didn't see them. Except for the owner. I saw him once outside of that pizza place. We are at a different grocery store. And I just happened to bump into him. And I guess another co-worker, someone who became his wife for a time, had a kid with them because I remember when I bumped into him they had a brand new baby girl and I remember looking at him and going, congratulations she's adorable. She is now a legal adult. That is how long it has been since I have seen him. I have him on Facebook. That's the only way him and I still connect. And then I mentioned that warehouse where I actually worked for three years and heck, while I worked there, MySpace came out. It wasn't much longer after that, Facebook came out. So there are a couple people who I used to work at that warehouse with, which this wasn't a high turnover job. I worked in a department where, where we were all kind of close, tight-knit. There are two that I have on Facebook, other than my best friend. And one, I will say, I did hang out with him for a while while we worked there, even after we worked there. He was a good guy, him and his wife. I used to go over to their house and hang out. He was a big gun nut. I love guns. We went shooting together once or twice. We went paintballing several times. He was a good guy. I have him on Facebook to this day. But other than the once or twice I hung out with him after he no longer worked there, I haven't really seen him. There was a girl. I used to hang out with her after work all the time. Went and saw a couple movies together. She went to a concert with me and my friends. Went bowling with her and a couple of other people from work once. And several times I would just go to her house and just hang out. Because Herman and I bonded over movies. 
Not gonna lie to you, I liked her and I got friend zoned. But still, I keep in touch with her on Facebook. That's it. Since she stopped working there, I have not seen her since. To be fair, she stopped working there to move to Virginia or something like that. But still! After that warehouse went under, the economy was bad. I ended up having to move back in with my parents in California, where they were living at the time. I told you, worked at that gas station. I will say that was probably the biggest exception to the rule. Because while working at the gas station, I met the guy who would become my roommate for a few years. He became my roommate. We lived together. We became really good friends. My best friend, author Ken Lindsay, could not make it out in time for my wedding. He ended up being my best man. But I will say, after him and I stopped living together, haven't seen him since, spoken to him a few times, but that's it. I've told you guys about the fancy restaurant I used to work at. I will say, again, little town, so I bumped into a few of the people that I used to work with at the grocery store or at the bank. A couple of them ended up coming into the pharmacy I was working at soon after working there. But only one of them do I even still have on Facebook. The pharmacy. Again, I worked there for almost three years. Met my wife there. She is the only person I worked at that pharmacy with that I still ever see. Or even saw after working there. Other than that, nobody. One of them came to our wedding and gave us the wedding present of an actual honeymoon. We didn't have the money and they got us a night in a hotel in Palm Springs. It was nice. But I have not seen her since I didn't work there anymore. Have her on Facebook. Have a couple of other co-workers from there on Facebook. But that is it. The place I worked with after that, don't even have anybody on Facebook. The place after that, a couple of them I still have on Facebook. The place after that, we actually have a friend, one friend that I used to work with. Sort of. Around that time, I'm graveyard, like I am now. So, I worked with this girl, but not really. What happened was, her and my wife just happened to meet outside of work. We ended up going to the same church together. And when I first saw her, I'm sitting there thinking, do I know her? And it turned out, yeah, we know each other. We pass by each other at work. Because she works day shift, I work night shift. So depending on when she's working, sometimes I see her as I'm leaving and she's coming in, or she sees me as I'm coming in and she's leaving. We saw each other, but I didn't even know her name. At this point, we haven't worked together in a few years. And yes, we still see each other from time to time. Her son is friends with my sons. But ultimately, had she just not happened to meet my wife and make friends with my wife, we would never even know each other's names. We probably wouldn't even know each other now with how long it's been since we worked together. It would probably be a situation of if we bumped into each other, we would just keep walking because we wouldn't even recognize each other. Because we worked at the same place, but didn't work together. Other than that, there's a few people on Facebook, and that's it. So when you think about it, of all the people that I worked with that I met at work, only three people in all these years, all these jobs, have I ever seen on purpose after working there? Two of them, I don't see any more at all. And one of them, I see her because she's friends with my wife. So based on that, the moral of this rant is please, stop saying that. We are not family, we're just co-workers. So there you have it. That's my story video this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notifications for when I post my videos, and leave a comment that I can respond to in my next comment corner. Tell me if you really do have a bunch of co-workers that since working with them are like family. But be honest and tell me how many. Love you guys.